Hello. Yesterday, I was stuck in a situation where I felt like I couldn't get done what I wanted to get done. And part of what I wanted to get done was just planning my next move. So I was stuck not being able to plan or execute. And it was really frustrating. So the reasons for my not being able to plan were partially the baby and partially my own limited mindset. So I can really only blame the baby for a little bit of this. So just so you see context, here we are. Here's the little one. This is what we got. It's about 11.30 in the morning. And yesterday was just all taking care of the baby, his <laughs> needs, which as it should be, she's two months old. So of course that's what we do. Um, I had hoped to try and work when she napped um, and there were no naps yesterday. Just really, baby was super fussy and that's just how it was. Um, and then she took like a two and a half hour nap in the afternoon on me and I napped too. So that's just how that was. Yesterday was not a productive day and I felt stuck and awful and like I was always gonna be trapped in this position of not having any margin, not having any assets, having limited assets and not being able to get ahead, not having an emergency fund. I felt trapped and not great. So we had an awful night. It was an awful night um, because she hadn't napped enough. And the one nap that she did take was toward the end of the day. So I think I, we were in bed for 12 hours straight and I only got a total of five hours sleep during that 12 hours. You would have thought that I would have gotten up and done something. So that was one of the problems was that I, there wasn't enough activity and outside time yesterday. So hence we're going for a walk right now to get in some activity, which is great. And there's always that hope. The reason I didn't just get up and give up and try to entertain the baby was because you always hope that, you know, maybe the baby will stay down. Like if you <laughs> entertain the baby or if you wait long enough, the baby will just stay asleep or quiet down and it just didn't happen so that was the story of yesterday woke up not feeling great but today is a new day and I'm feeling that new day energy now so I got up took a shower washed my hair got the baby ready and I'm giving it a new start because it's a new day so that's where we are and I'm realizing also by all the people all the YouTubers that I've watched that have shown the benefit of steady incremental action towards a goal. Even if it's not, like even if it's the smallest step possible, like even if it's $1 or $5 towards your goal, just simply the action of moving toward that goal is so powerful. And I'm thinking in particularly of Mary, Penny's Not Perfection, um, Lauren Miller, and then people that I just really like Jen from The Budget Bounce and Kate Caden, who's just amazing. So those are the four that I've been watching on repeat lately and Kelly from Freedom in a Budget as well. So go check them out, those five. Um, and I'll try to leave links to their channel down below. So this is about being stuck, feeling stuck and how to get out of it. We should probably not show that. Oh, okay. So woke up, new energy. Nothing had changed about my situation. Mind you, other than that, I laid in bed for 12 hours straight. But I know what it really helped me was the morning routine of gratitude, affirmation, visualization, and evidence. Looking for evidence that what I'm visualizing, what I'm manifesting is coming, coming into view. And that helped a lot. So things that I'm thankful of. Number one, the bed stayed dry. <laughs> that hasn't always been the case. There were no excuse me, huge blowout, which was fantastic. Um, and I give thanks for that because again, that's not always been the case. It's a new, it's a preschool. So um, I'm like, oh, exciting to think about that. So that was my first gratitude. The second gratitude is that baby's healthy. I'm healthy. My husband's healthy. That's wonderful. And that we have an income, which is great. So really focusing on the gratitude. And I found that those little tiny things that help me feel better, just moving one tiny step at a time has been very powerful. 
because it doesn't all happen at once, right? And it doesn't even feel like, sometimes it doesn't feel like I'm making progress and that's okay because I'm sure I know that in the past when I've accomplished goals, the first time I got out of credit card debt, it didn't feel like I was making progress and it was super frustrating at times. So I know that just making steady incremental progress is fine and sometimes is not gonna feel the greatest. Oh, and the baby's asleep, thank goodness. I knew that was the case. I had hoped that would happen and it did, so praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So that's where it is. And again, I'm just going to try to make steady incremental progress and I wonder if I can just move slowly now. I will just move slowly, so. I apologize that this is making anyone seasick. It's just where it is. So, one of the things I want to do is up my game as far as, let me not even say that, to do a video like I was doing before and like I want to do, took like three to four hours. Even though it didn't look like it, it did. And I realize that I have two choices. One of them is just to continue to post videos like this, just kind of catch on the fly type stuff, which I will continue to do because this is part of just staying accountable and taking some action, even though it's not the action I want to take. The thing now is I don't even have the time to learn a new style or how to cut down on the energy it takes right now. This is not forever and things will change. My, my decision now is how I want them to change. And I know that just having these targets in mind will help. For example, so my last video was on um, how I lost my income, being on disability. Let me see if I can put this down. Again, not the most flattering action, a flattering um, view angle. There you go. So I lost my income um, due to being on disability. I have some income, not all of it, because they made me recertified medically for the rest of it, which just is how it is. And I hit one of those, I never want to be in this situation again moments. The question is, how do I avoid being in that situation again? It's a good question. And that's something I'm working on. Garbage truck. Sort of slowly and steadily working my way out of that. So as far as building an emergency fund goes, I do have an emergency fund. It's not as big as it should be, but it's there. It's about a thousand dollars as recommended by our friend Dave Ramsey. And once more, I wish I'd started using it sooner um, because I was in an emergency and I'm now coming out of an emergency and looking to do repair. So that's number one. Number two is just those tiny little incremental investing goals contributing to my IRA, number one. Really, that's it. That's the most beneficial one. So I just start there and then work on tax advantaged uh, with my tax advantage account and then move on from there. So those are the two goals I have that ideally would make me seem like um, maybe me help me make progress and not remain stuck because no one wants to remain stuck. But again, like I kind of mentioned in that other video, new level, new devil, and there's always a new feeling that comes along with each new level. So I just deal with it as it comes and continue to find the gratitude, affirm the fact that I'm moving in the right direction, visualize the things that I want and find evidence for the future that I am creating. Okay, so that'll do it for this video on how I felt stuck yesterday in a better mindset today. I'm sure that I will feel stuck at some point in the future and I will use these tools to get out of it. So that's what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll keep watching. Bye.